we got a snowstorm in October. Can I even be surprised with the way this year has gone? So a couple of days ago, we got about five, six inches of snow. It already looks like it's starting to melt a little bit, which is so unusual here for this time of year. I can't remember ever seeing this much snow here before Halloween. And now the storm has passed and it's left us with these beautiful clear blue skies and a fresh layer of snow. It is currently 28 degrees. Today, I'm just gonna go out and enjoy this beautiful day and explore a little bit of my own backyard. I've got my cameras. I'm bringing you guys along with me. But first, First, there is something very, very important I need to go do. I've made it out to Riverside State Park here in Eastern Washington, and it is gorgeous today. The views on the drive-in were just wow. There's this river that carves through this area. Before I head out and start exploring, I want to say thank you to Backcountry for sponsoring today's video. Not only do they have all of the great outdoor brands like Patagonia, Smartwool, Arcteryx, North Face, they also are partnered with the Nature Conservancy to support its mission of protecting lands and water because they want everybody to be able to enjoy the outdoors. They also have gearheads available 24 seven to help you find whatever you need for your next adventure. And I'm wearing some gear from Backcountry today, like my hat and these gloves. I've actually had these gloves for a few years. They're the Patagonia Better Sweater gloves and they are so great for photography in cold weather. The boots that I'm wearing, I know some of you recognize these straight off the bat. They are the same boots that Cheryl Strayed wore when she hiked the Pacific Crest Trail in the 90s. She wrote the book Wild. It's one of my favorite books of all time. There's also a movie starring Reese Witherspoon and you can see that Reese also wears these boots in the movie. They are the Danner Mountain Light boots with these gorgeous striking flat red laces. Everybody says that they are boots that you will own for decades. Backcountry gave me a coupon code for you guys to get 15% off your first purchase on the site. It's Allison15, and I will have that listed with a link down in the description. So this area is called the Bowl and Pitcher. It has some really cool rock formations. It has a swinging bridge, really cool area to come explore. I don't know if I've ever been here. I grew up here and I know when I was really little, my family would come out here and ride bikes sometimes in this area, but I have absolutely no recollection of anything that I'm seeing today. So this might be my first time here or not. I'm hiking this little trail to an overlook. Look how beautiful this is. The snow and the sun, I just cannot get over this. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty up here. And look at the view. So apparently this year we're having a La Nina, which is the opposite of an El Nino. So if I researched this correctly, a La Nina is when the surface level temperature at the equator gets colder and it affects weather patterns all around the world, but it affects different regions differently. This is what's really interesting. It's not like everywhere gets warmer or everywhere gets colder. Like I believe the Southern US gets hotter and drier during a La Nina, but the Pacific Pacific Northwest gets colder and wetter. So everybody is speculating that we're gonna have a really heavy winter here this year. Also, in case you're wondering, I think I confused some people on Instagram when I was posting snow stuff. If you missed my update video back in June, I think it was, I'm not currently living in Seattle. My husband and I actually moved out of the city back in April. Due to a variety of factors, we were actually always planning on moving in the spring, but then everything became work from home and COVID threw a wrench into everybody's plans for this year. We then became uncertain where we were going to be moving to and we wanted to see how this COVID stuff turned out and there was some other stuff up in the air. So we headed out of the city over the mountains to Eastern Washington and we've been hanging out. Definitely never thought as a newlywed, I would move back into my parents' house. Not 
how I anticipated my first year of marriage going. It is crazy though, because when we first got over here, we genuinely were like, we probably won't be here for more than like six to eight weeks. So we just packed a suitcase with summer clothes, came over, and of course, we've now been here for six months. And because we had packed so light, like we had just packed summer stuff, we actually had to make a trip back over to Seattle because that's where all of our stuff is. Like our furniture, everything we own is still back over there. So we had to go back and get all of our winter stuff. I mentioned in a recent video that I feel like this year has gone both very slowly and very quickly. And I asked you guys how you felt about it. And some of you in the comments were able to pinpoint exactly why I feel this way. You said it's because time keeps passing, but life feels like it's on pause. And that is exactly how I have felt all year. That has been one of the most frustrating parts of this year for me is feeling like I'm not making progress in any area of my life. I don't know if you're feeling frustrated because everything just seems to be paused right now. You're not alone. I feel that way as well. It is so pretty up here right now with like the golden hour setting in and the snow and the light. I wish I could film all of my videos up here at this overlook. The sun has dipped beneath the ridge. It's nearly sunset. It's getting dark so early already and I hate it, especially because I'm really trying hard to stick to my goal of walking outside or spending an active hour outside every single day. I talked about that in my healthy, ha happy habits video. I can't even remember the videos I do. Happy habits, I think is what it was. I did this like not even a month ago, I think, and I can't even remember what I titled it. But I talk in that video about how at the beginning of quarantine, I made it part of my routine to walk outside for one hour every day. And it has done wonders for my mental health to have that one hour a day where I get out, get some fresh air, move a little. But now this snowstorm has been the first big test of sticking to this habit even when it's really cold or it's getting dark earlier. I actually ordered this amazing light up belt online. It's a USB rechargeable LED belt. It is amazing. I'm obsessed with this thing and it is so good for making sure that you're visible when you're out in the dark. Inevitably to get my one hour outside every day this winter, I'm going to be going out after dark, which is like 4 p.m. If you have any goals or plans to stay active this winter and any methods to keep yourself from backing out of those plans, please let me know what they are down in a comment below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random come outside with me, explore a little and catch up vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.